An old Sergeant Major in the Marine Corps once defined leadership as three principles, and they are know your stuff, set the example, and take care of your people. Whenever there's a failure in leadership, it's because there's a failure in one of those three principles. Now, in firearm safety, whenever there's a failure in firearm safety, it's because somebody violated one or more of the safety rules. And those rules are treat all weapons as always loaded. Don't cover anything with a muzzle you're not willing to destroy. Keep your finger off the trigger until your front sight's on an, on an identified target. And lastly, know your target, know what's around it, know what's behind it. If you live by those four rules, you will always maintain a safe weapon. You'll be safe and those around you will be safe. The brother of the 14 year old boy who was shot and killed by his father at a gun range says it was simply a freak accident. Stephen Brumby's father accidentally shot and killed him after a hot shell casing went down the father's shirt and he was trying to get it out and the gun went off. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank spoke to that family and is live now at the high noon gun range where that happened over the weekend. Evan, I can't imagine what this family is going through. So the other tragedy of the news story about the father accidentally shooting his nine-year-old son really uh, caught my attention. I'm a father of six and it got me thinking about how important it is, number one, to live by those four safety rules with regards to firearms. Every time there's an accident, you can trace it back to a violation of one or more of those rules every single time. That got me thinking about this past year where so many uh, new gun owners uh, have purchased weapons for the first time and the whole debate about is it better to keep uh, around in a chamber or out of the chamber and my initial reaction is yeah it's better to keep uh, around in the chamber but i need to qualify that statement that's good to do if you live by those four rules and you're used to carrying the weapon if you are new to this then it'll take some time to imbue those four rules into your, your DNA. And I would suggest if you're a, new, a newer gun owner, don't put one in the chamber yet. Get used to the feel of it, to carrying it around, to know the condition of your firearm every minute of the day in other words is it loaded is it not loaded understand how it works take your time if you ran out and got a concealed carry permit just get used to carrying it period and once you feel confident that you are always and I mean always abiding by those four safety rules yeah, then put one in the chamber. Because when you need it, you need it right then and there. But that's going to be a, a process, right? You just can't go from zero to 60 in zero seconds. So, learn those four rules. Live by them. Teach your children those four rules. So they live by them. I'm going to show you a little incident that happened here. There was a... A rifle, an AK-47, laying uh, right where that uh, 2x4 is. It was uh, negligently discharged. The bullet entered the back of the bed here, right underneath the window. Entered the cabin, came through the back seat, went between the seats, and out the windshield. And go around here and show you the windshield. You can see right there, the bullet came out right there. I was standing right in this back door, leaning in a little bit to, uh, to get something. Um, I estimate that uh, I was right about here. I wasn't too far in. I, I was just in here, uh, in here uh, loading up gear, placing a bag in, but uh, that's probably, well, I'm thinking uh, maybe two feet 
a shade less, maybe maybe uh, 20 inches from me. Um, it's kind of a scary moment. Uh, fortunately, there was nothing but uh, property damage, and uh, nobody was hurt during this incident. So, uh, yeah. If you'd like to delve uh, into more detail on the four safety rules and how it pertains to your everyday carry and handling of your firearm, please uh, go check out uh, the video that I have on my website at uh, guardwelldefense.com. It's an hour of your life that you won't get back. Sorry about that, but hopefully uh, it'll be uh, an hour well spent, particularly for new shooters. Thank you.